So I have a. So I've got a question for Such you. Such a refined comment. I have a question for you, Mr. And, Harvey and I have a, a quick Such follow a refined up. comment. So my first question for you is, do you know how much a, a K through 12 education costs? Per pupil or per school? Per, per student. Dispense, depends on the school district or state. Let's, let's talk about an average. So, so per year, on average, it's about $18,500 per pupil, depending on the city or municipality or state. It can go as high as $27,000 per pupil if it's second through fourth grade in Chicago. Or it can go as low as $14,100 per pupil if it's private or charter school, which actually has proven to bring down the price of education. So thank you for the trivial pursuit type question. I'm actually surprised he had such a comprehensive answer to that. So yeah, I'm sorry, what? I, I'm surprised he had such a comprehensive answer to that. So kudos to you. Thank um, you. My, my follow up, a question on that. No, hold on. This is a serious question, though. Um, you know, if you're, if you're advocating for uh, pure uh, capitalism. More of a where, capitalist society, sure, most absolutely. Sure. Which, uh, one of the things you need to talk about is education, right? Let's talk and about it. Education, uh, it's a huge amount of taxes, huge amount of spending per student across the country. You know, we're looking at tens of thousands per year. Now, in, in a communist society, let's, or sorry, not communist, capitalist society, uh, let's say there are none of these taxes. You expect each parent to have these hundreds of thousands of dollars to pay for the education of each of their children just for schools leading up to okay. college. So let me ask you a question. What, what funds local schools? Property taxes, federal taxes, and a load of other taxes. So what's the predominant funder of local schools? The most important one's going to be property Pro taxes. Property tax. Have I ever advocated for the abolition of property taxes? You're talking about getting rid of a socialist institution. And Correct. The biggest socialist property tax is anything but a socialist institution. It's an ownership tax. If you don't want to pay property tax, don't, don't buy the property. It's large contributions of everyone to take care of everyone in the way that you but accept if, it. If you don't want to live in the neighborhood, live somewhere else. You can live somewhere with next to no property tax. You can live in Butte, Montana with sure. a $14 a year property tax. There is no education system in the United States in which you can not get an education by living there. That's correct, yes. That is a but if you want to pay next to no, okay, it's not, so you, what's your argument, that I'm somehow like against taxes or? No, I, I, am, am, but, I am asking in a world without the taxes that you're talking well, I, I about. Want, I want to understand the question precisely. In this world where you have limited to no taxes, the okay. capitalist model, which is that, so let me make it perfectly clear. I would love to abolish the federal income tax. Probably not going to happen. So we can go to a 10%. Everyone pays 10%. That's plenty of money to fund essential government services. Now, let's talk about funding of schools. I've never not once said get rid of property tax. There's more than enough money in the property tax system, in the state tax system, and in the other ways that we fund education, such as the lottery and other government revenue services, to effectively fund public schools if if you're able to fire bad teachers and fight public sector teacher unions, if you're able to do that, if you're able to do that. Thank you.